Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In this video, we'll discuss about we'll develop a sample basic project in MVC with ADO.NET. So initially, in this um, project, let us assume that there are four modules are there. Basically, the title of the project you can confirm that uh, some college information system. Uh, basically, this project consists of four modules. One is admin, other one is employee, another one is department, other one is student. Uh, admin will uh, log in with his username and password and then he can add the employees and then he can add the department. So initially I have created two tables, one is department, other one is employee. There are four departments are there in the college and uh, this employee is working in a particular department. Anyway, we will discuss this one. But initially we will start developing the project. Here the main aim is uh, to make you comfortable to work with MVC, that is the main target. So here I'll go to the database, right click on the database, I'll create a new database. And the name of the database I'll give as a, something like college db, college db I'll give as the name of the database. And I want to create the tables. So here you go to the new query and I want to use the database name, use college db. So initially I want to create a table with name department with uh, two columns in department number and department name and I applied primary key constraints for department number. Similarly I will create one more table with name employee. Create table employee column name employee number data type in primary key employee name where care of 20 salary department number. Employee number I applied primary key and department number I applied foreign key. So command completed successfully. Right click on the database refresh. Initially, we will start the project with these two tables. Later, we will increase the number of tables. There are two tables are there. One is employee, other one is what? Department. Here in employee table, employee number is primary key and department number is foreign key. In department table, department number is foreign key. So, in eDrive, I create one folder with the name college project. So, here I will try to go to the start on programs. And I want to open Visual Studio 2013. There I will try to open. And here I'll go to the new project. Select uh, web ASP.NET web application. Click on browse. And here you can go to the e drive. There you can find one folder called what? College project. Select the folder. And uh, here I will try to uh, just uh, give the name of the project as something like college project. And click on OK. Now it will ask you to select uh, whether you want to develop an empty web application or MVC application as I want to work with MVC here I want to select empty MVC application just click on work so initially we need to discuss about the architecture of MVC so let us see here let us assume a real world example to make the concept to understand in a better manner let us assume that there is a small food court center is there now here one owner is there he is only he will only take care about all the things in that food court now once the customer came to the shop Whenever the customer came to the shop, the owner will take the uh, order from the customer and he will go to the kitchen and he will prepare the food and then he will decorate the food and send the food back to the customer. So here only owner is only acting like a server, owner is only acting like a chef as well as owner is only acting like a decorator. So the owner uh, felt that his day-to-day uh, -day the number of customers are increasing, so his uh, burden is also increasing. So he recruited one chef in his food court. Now what will happen? Now the customer will uh, come to the shop, owner will take the order and he will forward the order to the chef. So chef will go to the kitchen and will prepare the food and again this chef will intimate to the owner that the food is what ready. Then again owner will forward that, uh, he will serve the food to the customer. Still, the owner uh, feeling somewhat not comfortable. So, owner has recruited one more employee. He is nothing but uh, some decorator. Is it clear? So, here you see. Now, there are the, he is a customer. He is a owner. He is a chef. He is a decorator. Let us see how it will work. So, here, now whenever the customer, whenever the customer will come to the uh, uh, shop, owner will first take the order from the customer. And he will forward that order to the chef. Chef will go to the kitchen. He will prepare the food. And he will intimate to the owner that food is ready. Then, owner will invoke the decorator. 
your food is ready go and bring the food now decorator will uh, interact with the chef and he will get back the food and he will uh, give the food to the customer i hope you understood now owner what he is doing he is not doing anything just controlling he is trying to control in the chef and what decorator owner is trying to take the request from the customer and he will uh, interact with the chef and he will interact with what decorator so here owner is nothing but controller here chef is nothing but model here kitchen is nothing but a database here decorator is nothing but view here customer is nothing but browser is it clear so generally in mvc what will happen means whenever the browser sends a request controller will accept the request and it will forward and it will uh, interact with model now model will interact with what database and it will execute the result and then model will again intimate to the controller that which uh, page must get executed invoked so here now uh, the controller will interact with view controller will intimate to view that which page must get uh, executed then view will interact with model and uh, finally it will display the response in the browser here what is the role of controller means controller role is it will accept the request from the browser and it will interact with model and it will uh, interact with view here the execution process will always start from controller only is it clear or you can simply tell that control will act like a mediator between model and view is it clear so this is the basic architecture it is uh, required in order to work with the uh, mvc project so actually in our solution explorer we can see some of the empty folders are there like controllers models and views and here you can see app underscore start so initially i want to design the uh, master page in my mbc application if you want master pages in asp.net you can watch my uh, youtube and type master pages by kanababu there you can watch my video two videos will be there in master pages but here what is the use of master page master page is generally used to maintain some part of the web page constant throughout your website for example if you consider this is your particular web page i want to divide the entire web page into three parts this is part a this is part b and this is part c and uh, the part a and part b is constant part a and part b will not vary throughout your particular website only part b will uh, part c will vary so whatever the design you want to uh, you have done within part a and part b it will not vary it is constant but whatever the design you have to insert this c part it will vary from one page to another page so within the c part i will uh, take one content placeholder but generally as content placeholder is not available here i will try to introduce some more control here so first of all right click on the views uh, within that views here you can see right click add uh, here you can see mvc5 layout page if you want to work with master pages here you have to select what layout page and the name i am giving as underscore layout page one click on ok and here you can see so whatever the design you want to do within that content placeholder here content placeholder is nothing but at the right render body i will cut this code and within that div tag i will take one table html table and here i will try to take one tr tag and here i will try to take one td tag and again i will take one more tr tag and here i will take one more td tag here i will take one more tr tag and here i will take one more td and within the last part i will paste the content placeholder that is at the rate under body in part one in first part i want to take one image so initially right click on the project add a uh, new folder rename the folder as images so i will try to right click on images folder here you can say add existing item so here you can go to the desktop and in desktop i have an image i will try to select the image one and uh, click on add button and i want to drag and drop this image in uh, first part so here i will give image uh, height and width 200 as well as 700 and this is part a let us assume this is my part a in part a i have displayed one image in part b I want to display the hyperlink button. So here I want to use HTML helper classes like at the rate HTML dot action link of. Here you have to mention the link text, the text you want to display, and here you have to mention the action method name. I'll give as home, and here you have to mention the controller name. The controller name is also what home. I'll give. Similarly, I will take one more. 
the link text I want to give as about us and the action method name I will give as something like about us and the controller name is home. So here you can see your design will look like this. The first attribute is link text. The second attribute is action method name. And the third one is controller name. So initially I want to create one controller. Right click, add controller. Then I want to select MVC5 controller, an empty controller. Click on add. The name of the controller is home. Home controller, click on add button. And here you can see. Control is nothing but class. Every any class that is implementing that is extending from controller class will become as controller. And here you can see there is one method called action method. And here I have some lot of pages. I will add some action methods. And first one I will try to give as home. First one is home page. And the second one I will give as about us. I will change the action method name. And the third one I will give as contact us. And the fourth one I'll give as login sitemap. Sitemap. And the fifth one I'll give as login. Is it clear? So generally these are action methods are nothing but uh, your individual dot uh, aspx pages or dot cs html pages. The under controller class every method is nothing but your web page. Is it clear? So right click on home, add view. Here you can see the name of the view is home. And I don't want to use any template. So here I'm selecting empty. And here I will try to select the master page layout. Here you can see go to the views. Select underscore layout page1.cshtml. Click on add button. And here I want to display home page. Here I want to write some message saying that welcome to home page. Is it clear? Similarly go to home controller. Right click on about us. Right click add view. And here I will try to select uh, add button and uh, about us space. Similarly, right click on contact us. Here uh, click on add view. Select the layout. Click on add button. Similarly, right click on sitemap. And here you can see add view. Select sitemap. Click on add button. And similarly, right click on login. Click clear. And here you can see add view. And here you can see login. Later we will discuss about login form, but anyway, I will just add initially. Is it clear? So here I have written some code to design the login form by using HTML helper classes using HTML dot begin form. Here uh, generally in ASP we are having label. HTML helper classes will provide some predefined methods like label, uh, text box, these all the things. So here I have written H. I want to display enter username and enter password. Is it clear? And uh, here you can see, now I will try to go to my uh, app underscore start, there you can see root config.cs, the controller name I will mention as home, the action method name also I will mention as home. So what is the meaning of this? Initially whenever we try to execute the MVC application, initially global.sx file will get executed and here application start event will fire and it will invoke this um, uh, register root methods and finally root config.cs this code will get executed in this code we are setting the default controller name generally in as3 we will write set as start page here we are uh, intimating that there are a lot of methods are there under controller class which may, which page must get executed first so i am setting under home controller i want to execute home page first so that is you are mentioning here controller name action method name debug and check so here you see this is my A path, this is my B path and this is my uh, render body. So here once when I click on about us, here you can see in MVC you can find what a clear URL or clean URL, the controller name followed by action method name. Similarly contact us, similarly sitemap, similarly login. Now in the next video we will discuss about uh, uh, how to develop each and every modules. So for more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.